So you know Google Home? I do. Apple Home? Sweet. This is a open source SmartSync speaker, but it's a dev kit, so you gotta build it yourself. <laughs> but the idea is, all the technology is hosted in your own house, so open hardware, open software. And you don't have to send all your voice data and to a cloud, San Francisco or whatever. So it's called the Mark II. This dev kit is what I have. And you need to build it yourself. The dev kit includes a Mycroft Audio Pi hat, two Timpani peerless speaker drivers, power supplier, screws, nuts, threaded inserts, Raspberry Pi 4, 2 gig, Raspberry Pi heatsink, fan, USB drive, 4.3 inch display, a display cable, and isolator grommets. <laughs> um, and there's instructions on how to build it. So, what do we got? Whatever our exciting bits. Let's have a look. So that looks like the touch screen. I really want to get it out, but also don't. Let's just get, we'll just, we'll do a, a flat lay first. I agree. Um, then we've got, I think this looks like the pie. It looks like a pie. Oh no, maybe not. Power supply maybe? Nah. All right, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll guess it with a pizza. Because that's clearly the pie. Miss bag of treats. The speakers. Power supply. I wonder if we were kind enough to receive an Australian adapter. Yes! Awesome. Good to see. Nice. And... A flash drive. Oh wait, and... Some ribbon. The thing that's immediately obvious to me, there's no case of any kind, even just like a... Yeah, good point. A starting point. Um, like just that, like, because then it, they're working on an actual consumer case. It looks nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's probably the first thing I need to work at is like what to put all this stuff in. Uh, but that's all right. All right let's, let's take a look at the boards. Yeah, so good. that's the... Ah, come on, open up. What's, what's the deal here? Is it a slide box? Oh, open here. I should read. <laughs> but yeah, the great thing about this is you can have a smart speaker in your home or your office or whatever. And you can choose to have it completely secure, not send your recordings into the cloud. That's a Raspberry Pi, all right. Yeah. More carefully. Yes. So that's the Audio Pi hat. I see. So that's that's the bit that they've built custom. Looks like they've gone for a custom board. Right, and it's got the power supply. It's got the audio out. By the looks of it, maybe. Does that connect the speakers as well? Yeah, I reckon, I reckon this... Have a look at the speakers. <laughs> Should have brought scissors to this unboxing. Anyway. Here we go. See you later. And so this must be... Oh yeah, that's the touch screen. Let me get scissors for this. Actually, maybe the speakers, like, it's also got, I have to read the board specs. I wonder what that jack is. It looks like a three and a half mil jack to me. Mm. But, ah, oh, drivers have been squashed a little. Eh. 
Cool, cool. I don't know where to start. I mean, clearly getting like where to start is go to this link. I need to get me a electromagnetic uh, static map. Mm. Worth it for the 16 gig flash drive, to be honest. Keep private files private with secure access software. Definitely not gonna install that. And if it comes installed, I'm gonna delete it. All right, that's it. That's all I got.